And you know what? I saw things being taken out of there. Gary went in there with Jim Fuller, and he walked out with paperwork and a blue, uh, black book. Uh, anyway, he's walking out of there with stuff. He's putting stuff in the window there. I'm heartbroken that there's so much, so much mudslinging going on in our community right now. You're the biggest liar I've ever met. No, sir. No, sir. Who in the hell is gave him permission to do that. This is reeking, Jeannie Kinch, since you're the fault of this. I am only asking to vacate two precinct committee members that I mistakenly appointed just months ago. The toxic environment coming from District 2 headquarters forced me to temporarily close the office. A half a minute, please, sir. Steve D'Amico. Steve D'Amico, Bullhead City. Thank you, Chair and Board. Um, I'm here for item number eight also. I have uh, witnessed this uh, turmoil in our local uh, GOP in Bullhead City personally. There's a small group down there that are uh, dividing our party, and we don't need this. This most important election of our of our lifetime coming up, and we need to all get along. It's a shame that it came to legal action, and it's a shame that we're here today. Uh, people should just be able to get along. Regardless if you like each other or not, this is for the better of our country. You're the biggest liar I've ever met. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, I was running against Ashley Garrett, and they put her sign on the GOP uh, Christmas float. Hello, board. I am Barbara Houston. I am the mayor's wife. <laughs> All I know is, madam, you are one of the most marginal people that I've come across in a long time, and you haven't even said two words. I support agenda item number eight, the creation of two PC vacancies. And I firmly believe there is ample evidence to support this decision. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. My name is Lionel Grant. I am the pastor of First Southern Baptist Church, Mojave Valley, 1421 East Commercial Street, Mojave Valley. My reason for being here and asking to speak before this um, great board is because of a situation that I endured. Uh, I support Miss Jeannie uh, Kinch. This is a clear indication that action is needed to rectify the issues within District 2. A moron! And you still don't even get it! I have been an elected PC for over 10 years. I was on with Royanne. I was there. And his wife never came into the office the whole time I was there. She was thrown out of the office by Royanne Ortiz. Thrown out. Yeah. A lot not true along with Barbara Payne, order please she was thrown out too and then we had some directors that made it very uncomfortable for me to go into the office it is the problem is with Jeannie Kinch and she's right there and I guarantee you a dime to a dollar that the six directors would say the same thing and Ron some of your constituents are also members of that party so bad behavior we can't act on you know and as far as First Amendment rights, I didn't give up my First Amendment rights when I became a PC 28 years ago. Um, I still have those rights. I have the rights to um, badmouth other elected officials if I so choose to do that, because that's the American way. I just uh, avoided the office, that's true. However, during, during Royanne and Bill Hurd, I worked on several Lincoln Day dinners. You're the biggest liar I've ever met. No, sir. No, sir and register people to vote, even though I have avoided the office. I personally experienced fallout from this division with attacks purely meant to discredit and humiliate me. During the election, did not offer mine. They put hers in the window, did not offer mine. They were endorsing her, endorsing her um, did not uh, offer mine. There's a problem here in this office, and the problem is Jeannie Kench gets her little people together, her little, her little groups, and tries to throw us off track. 
There's two thirds of us here that want to go the right way. And then there's the one third or the quarter or whatever that don't. So Jeannie has to do some filing and embarrass our party in front of the whole country, Jeannie. And recall Jeannie. Oh, Ryan, I need a legal exclamation. Can I call Jeannie Kinch a bitch? All of us have known many of these people for many decades. They've worked hard. These people are rel relatively new. Some of them I don't even know. And a PC should never feel unwelcome in their own district office. We had Pastor Lionel Grant come up here. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. My name is Lionel Grant. I am the pastor of First Southern Baptist Church, Mojave Valley, 1421 East Commercial Street, Mojave Valley. And this is something that really upsets me. And I would like to speak on Jim Fuller on the video that was shown. It looked to me like he was attacked by that woman. And um, Lionel was also attacked in the office. You're the biggest liar I've ever met. No, sir. No, sir. Even though I have avoided the office. It's alleged he... It's alleged, he, it's alleged he was called the N-word in our district office. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. My name is Lionel Grant. Now, are we going to allow that to happen? Uh, if you know the bylaws for the local GOP, you do not endorse uh, anyone during the primary. Um, and I even feel uncomfortable even going in their office. And you know what? The other people that got up here to speak, they weren't telling the truth. Granted, granted, uh, um, Steve, you came into the office one or two times. He didn't come into the office because he wasn't unwelcomed. I told him he was welcome to come to the office. He just didn't have time. That's not my problem. As their elected mayor. Um, so I uh, hope you agree with Ginny Kench and it's a pleasure of the board. Chairman Lingenfelter. Supervisor Bishop. I will make the motion that we not approve this for legal reasons. Thank you. You've heard that motion. Do I have a second? Second. You've heard that motion a second. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? As appear to have it, do have it, so ordered. Uh, item number 12. Dear PCs, I sent my resignation letter to, you, to the executive board today. Mary Lou Shader will be presenting the report. As, July, as of July 7th, 2023, we had 357 visitors to the office. That's people who signed in, in our book. It's amazing. Voter registration, we had seven new party affiliated changes. Uh, we had three monthly meetings with a lot of office drama. Please stop with the office drama. We had 94 people willing to volunteer to hand count the election ballots, which is tremendous. We're ready. We are ready. I have left a packet containing the Jim Fuller reconciliation letter Mr. Fuller refused to sign. Yes, I'm, I'm heartbroken that there's so much, so much mudslinging going on in our community right now, and I pray that it would stop. I also left a PC application with, uh, which Mrs. Kench sent to me. I signed four new PC applications. I have turned all the picnic tickets over to your treasurer, Pam, Pam Ford. I truly wish the Republican Party can get their act together.
people on side of me when I was 110 degrees outside and I'm putting political signs up and he thought I was crazy. And people would talk to one another and fix whatever their little differences are, but love to have you as our mayor and thank you for being a friend. Thank you. That's how I met the, our mayor, and he gave me this card, and we talk, and I met met the man. I I know he speaks from his heart. I know he knows God. I'm a Christian guy. I'm not perfect, but I'll tell you, the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is my God, and it's His God. So that might not be the definition of bad behavior, but to, to us, that is definitely a, de a, a definition of offensive um, involved in offenses involving the violation of the person's official duties. So uh, he, I, he has my back. I have his back. I met his wife a few days ago. I'm Barbara Houston. I'm running for our GOP director of District 2. If we get trained, we can do it. I plan to implement training programs. I plan to implement Zoom training for people who can't always make it into the office. And when you do come into the office, it's going to be a fun place. It's going to be a place of learning, growth, and we're going to get every vote. So I would really appreciate your support. If you have any questions, please call me, 702-328-3475. Thank you. We survived through creative marketing, hard work, determination, and not giving up. And I don't give up as you will find out. <laughs> it's conveniently, my salon is conveniently located only three minutes from the office, so I can pop in any time. Okay. First time, and I, she's just a lovely lady. board. I am Barbara Houston. I am the mayor's wife. <laughs> so how do these skills make me the best candidate for district? I'm Barbara Houston. I'm running for our GOP director of district two. 